South Carolina comes back to Colonial Life Arena after two back-to-back -back SEC victories on the road. Early in this one, the Gamecocks attack the paint and Coates feeds it down to Asia Wilson and she makes the two. South Carolina keeps it balanced in their shooting game as Tiffany Mitchell takes a shot from three range and that's a bucket right there. Soon Ole Miss has possession and Sesum drives it inside, but she's going to kick it out to Tori Lewis and makes the deep three. Scores now 9-5. to five. Mitchell continues to make an impact behind the perimeter and Session swings it back to Mitchell and you guessed it, that's another three. Now let's fast forward to the second half with South Carolina still dominating. Asia Dozier feeds it down low in the post and Wilson makes the easy two. Now Tiffany Mitchell was having a day with her outside shooting, but this time she's going to drive it and slide through two defenders to make a shot in the paint. Mitchell again has the ball in her hands and drives it down the baseline, but kicks it out to Dozier, and that's another three-pointer for the South Carolina Gamecocks, and the Rebels just couldn't keep up with the great shooting of this Gamecock basketball team. One player that led off the boards and made a huge impact on second chance opportunities was Elena Coates. Here she snags the offensive rebound and manages to make the shot while getting fouled. Here we have the same old song and dance and we see Tina Roy fire one from deep range and that's another three. At the end of the game, South Carolina collected seven three-pointers and proved to be too much for Ole Miss. South Carolina runs away with this one by a final score of 81-62. Wilson led the team with 17 points, and at the press conference, she talked about how playing Ole Miss improved the team's game. I feel like Ole Miss is one of those teams where they have a lot of guards or the uh, like people uh, undersized posts, and I feel like that's a challenge for us because I mean, of course, we're not undersized posts, so it's kind of a challenge for us. So I mean, it helps us kind of, I guess, spread our game out, and I think that, and it is tough kind of chasing guards around off screens because that's something that we're really not used to. But uh, I think it's, I think it uh, works out. Uh, well for us because we can kind of adjust to that. Elena Coates continues to make an impact in the post as she collected her 10th double-double of the season and she now leads the SEC in that category. South Carolina travels to Texas A&M Sunday for another SEC road matchup. Reporting from Colonial Life Arena, Nick Jones, Capital City Sports.